Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Today is a special day, the Reptilian Nation Expo in West Palm Beach, Florida. Now I'm about to get in my car, grab a nice coffee, make a toast for you guys as I'm driving up to West Palm Beach. Now normally I have two days to record the videos. I get there nice and early before the show opens. But I'm really, really busy today and tomorrow. So I'm gonna get there around noon and I gotta leave by 4.30 the latest. So I only have four hours to record as much as I can. So I won't be able to do interviews and stuff like that. But I'm gonna try and record as many of the amazing animals as I can. And I hope I see you guys there. Can't wait. So we're here at beautiful West Palm Beach for this amazing reptile show. I got here a little late. It was hard to find parking, but that's a good thing. A lot of people at the show. I can't wait to show you all of these amazing animals. This is going to be part one of my full walkthrough of the show. There's going to be multiple parts. I'll be putting the rest out later this week. I hope you guys enjoy the show. You pick up anything? Uh, no, I just roll anything. Oh, okay, cool. Those easy to try and bite you? No. That it's is a beauty. Cool. How long does it take to get to that size? It's about a year. Oh, that's it? Wow. Yeah. They grow pretty quick. Yeah. I really like the oranges and stuff. Yeah, and the yeah. coloration is really good. Do they usually give you a lot of problems feeding? Or? No, typically, I've had ones take, try and take a thawed from frozen piggy the day they were born. Really? Wow. Usually they don't recommend to do that. You usually wait a week for them to have their postnatal shed. Yeah. But I had like a leftover pinky and I've tried and they will, some of them will take right away. Nice. So there's an occasional yeah. very picky eater, but usually they're pretty good. Yeah, with the colubrids that I breed. You, most of them take it, but you get a lot of picky eaters. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a lot more cooperative eaters than picky and yeah. it, at, at very least sometimes they'll be picky about taking frozen off but they'll take live pretty readily. Cool. We've been carrying and breeding these for about 10 years now. Okay. We've only really ramped up our production in the last few years. So. What do they max out at like three, four feet? Uh, the female's three feet. three feet. Unless she gets really, really big, three feet is pretty much the max. Okay. It's rare to see males get past two. Good 
this to this point next to the bottom of the map. It's funny when I open up the cap. All right, I'm gonna go shop around a little bit. Thank you. This looks like granite. Isn't it? Yeah, really pretty. That's the gray matter. Oh, that one, right? That's the gray matter. Gray matter. She, you're five, right, Dina? She's in shape. Just so far from here. Just buy something, give them a ship or two. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's he's not full grown, but like gonna yeah. check out the song there. Good, good. Can't complain. Living the dream, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can check us out on our social media with that QR code. To our Instagram. The snake should handle the front end. Yeah. But I'll, yeah. The only reason I'm doing this is because I have so much, so much Arctic, I mean, so much sable stuff I'm going to pump out. Yeah. A lot of my nightmares about feeding snakes sometimes. The ones that get me the most is some of them they'll eat and then they'll go on strike for another No, I just did the, um, the block eyes I did last time. Thank God I had neighborhood kids that would get me lizards, man. Yeah, I spoke to a couple of breeders. And then next year I'll be doing some I, other stuff. I had those, I had a bunch of Mexican blacks, I had a bunch of freaking Scarlet Kings, and all that stuff, and I just stopped. I have the zebra line, and then the regular. Okay. The zebra line. This one right here is really beautiful. Uh, uh, you know, if you're if you're what was that? to this side of, well, the, of the state and we, not the, a purple line, so that we can make it. Right see if we can make it. You they came out like the right side. We don't sell the tanks here, but we have several people here, um, and would you like to they know us, and we could just say, "Oh, this
This is the Hey man, is it okay I record everything? A collection of Florida King snakes. Really? Yeah, yeah, but I sold them all at once. I had like yeah. 30, yeah. Uh, tons of crazy ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm cutting down a lot of stuff this year. They're all, all from Scott. So I know everybody's busy and you guys have things to do. So I'm going to wrap up part one right here and I'll be putting out part two later this week, followed by part three of this walkthrough. I hope you guys enjoyed and be safe.